Vermiculture. The cultivation of different types of earthworms. Presenters. Chris Hontamilsina. Nikhil Sharma. Introduction. The rearing or cultivating suitable species of earthworms for the preparation of compost by using locally available biodegradable materials is called vermiculture. In Latin words, vermin means worms and culture means cultivation slash rearing. The compost obtained from vermiculture is termed as vermicompost or wormicompost. It is an important organic manure and good source of plant nutrients. Some suitable species of earthworm for vermicomposting are Isenia photida, Eudrilis, etc. Importance of vermiculture. Here is a short video about the introduction and importance of vermiculture. Process of vermicomposting. Step 1. Preparation of bed. Use suitable containers, earthen pots, wooden box or tray. Heat method of vermicomposting. Pit method, size of pit length 3 meters, breadth 2 meters and depth 60 centimeters by making a tank. Length 3 meters, breadth 2 meters and height 1 meter. Step 2. Soil spread. Earthworms feel comfortable in a soil bed. So cover the bed with about 50 cm thick layer of garden soil. Then, spread a thin layer of decomposed dung for the placement of earthworms. Step 3. Placement of earthworms. When the bedding base is ready, put in one species if the recommended earthworms at the rate of 200 earthworms per 1 14th of a cubic meter. About 3000 per cubic meter. Step 4. Feeding. Put organic waste materials like, waste vegetables, leftover food stuffs, cooked rice, etc. over the soil to feed the worms. The earthworms feed on these waste materials. Step 5. Cast production. The swallowed foods after undergoing biochemical change inside the intestine of earthworms are cast out which is called vermicast. These casts collect on the soil surface. Step 6. Vermicompost Collection. Vermicompost is a mixture of cast, decomposed materials, cocoons and young worms. Keep them in a cone shape over a piece of cloth or plastic sheet and leave it as such for some time. As they are light sensitive, all the worms move to the bottom of the heap. Then, collect the upper layer of the cone in a vessel and transfer the earthworms to the fresh bedding for the continuation of vermicomposting. Step 7. Packaging. Sieve the collected compost through a 3 mm wire mesh to separate cocoons, young worms and other leftover substances. Dry it under shade and maintain 20-30% moisture content. Then pack the compost in suitable packets slash bags of 1 kilogram, 5 kilograms, 10 kilograms and so on, with the label of detailed information about it. 8. Application of vermicompost. Mix 25% of vermicompost with 75% of soil for a new plantation. It can also be used for planted crop as well. It can be used in flower pots, garden and indoor plants as a good source of plant nutrients. Note, for making a suitable bedding base, pieces of straw, coconut stir, sawdust, cotton cloth, dried straw or grasses can be used. Spread these materials on the bottom of the container or any other structures which help to absorb the moisture. Let's watch a short animated and interesting video to remember the process of vermicomposting. Thank you.